But meanwhile, I could just give you some of the stories that we get this morning because when they look at our precedents and the trips where you don't take um, people, they come outside, they ask a lot of questions. Now, this one, they make food, they actually go back, sit down, they check how in first term be day. Because um, during by the time where he become, when he be there and sit during the first term, they say he spends 404 days traveling to over 30 countries. Now, some people say that calculate time. They say that is one full year plus over 35 days in um, in numbers where he actually spent outside in office and outside the country. And people that come outside, they ask plenty of questions on top of the way where in they travel. More importantly, the money where they go down with all these trips because we know so these trip these trips are not cheap at all at all now according by information what they get right now um people they come outside they ask plenty question and even the media aid don't come out to give certain statements and to talk say all oh, this in trip they are not um, they are not just for a uh, pleasure he said there's a good reason behind these trips now um, according to it, the um According to waiting, the senior special assistant on media and publicity, the comments at the talk will be given by show. He said, President Muhammad Buhari's um, foreign trips are not for sightseeing, but he said, outcome. Day on top ham. Now, Mr. Show will be the guest on top one of the um, one of the television stations um, program. Explain, say Nigerian economy uh, needs all this trip. Where President Buhari, they actually they go based on waiting, based on personality globally and the desire of other people, them, other presidents and key business investors to show say they're ready to do business with with them and with the country at large. Now, President Muhammad Buhari, since May 30, they say they don't embark on eight different trips. Some of the countries where they don't work out go now Saudi Arabia, Japan, Burkina Faso, New York, South Africa, Russia, um, and the United Kingdom as well they say a most recent trip where they send a private one to the united kingdom according to mr geber he said this one no no be only saying that for vacation yes na private trip but as they do vacation for there it they also work he said me kuna look am. in each of these trips we they try and make sure say nigerians know the things where the president is supposed to achieve so we they make progress because this economy it needs all this kind of trip because of the things we could come out by the time where, the, where our presidents go, come back. He say investors them, they, they look for serious man and they're ready to do business with our president. He say for me, oh, I feel say Nigerians may them comfort themselves with the fact that they get president where they're well respected globally, internationally, locally. Uh, according to Amin, say, well, he's on a private trip outside the country now, partly um, for work and partly for vacation. Uh, according to 81 Nigerian Saudi Arabian Strategic Council, um, the commerce I talk, Mr. Show reveals that the federal government and go they appoint representatives, especially based on the kind of business transaction they want to do with, between Nigeria and Saudi Arabia. They say they go appoint representatives where they're made up of businessmen, government officials, uh, where go sit down, agree on investment based on priority. He said this council, they go start to sit down in two months from now. So it is here which effect it means they will go they make the appointment in the coming days and they go decide on when the work will actually begin. In commerce, I talk say federal government self, one of the things where they don't give us priority na gas pipeline and they don't ensure say the construction of Ajokuta Kano uh, Ajokuta Kaduna Kano pipeline when a 614 kilometer long natural gas pipeline they it go they developed by the Nigerian National Petroleum Commission. He said, well, amongst the things where this new committee go do, uh, now to talk about refineries and other things, but what we will they focus on with our idea on top now, now this gas pipeline, we go bring better gas access for inside the country. Uh, according to what he talk, he said the meeting you know, with the leadership of the Saudi Oil and Gas Group, the country's sovereign wealth fund and the public investment fund uh, does not mean, say, the deal they go do and for free. That's not based on the meeting where the president began for it with um, Saudi Arabia major stakeholders. He said, all oh, those people, they talk of so. He said, the meeting, what we'll do with them, and the agreement we'll get on top ground with the MOE we'll not sign, it means, say, it no go they done for free. It is like a batter or like a payment of service. Something must exchange something. Hand must change hand for inside them. So, in the comments, I don't give justifiable reason why the president, um, the president, they actually go on those streets. They say, it's not just for fun. It's not just for sightseeing, but Nigerians are coming out to talk because the money where we they hear say that they spend <laughs> it's in billions and not even in millions on top of these trips. So far, so good. And when they hear say come 2020, um, the budget for travels for the president and the vice president, if it's a double 
including the one where they get for food and other things where they need for their immediate family. More details as the story they develop. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.